Happy fucking New Year, <laughs> bitches! <laughs> Brand new year to ram your blue rear. <laughs> and this is Nothing Fucking Sacred with <laughs> Cruise Control and Maxwell Silverham. Oh, <laughs> this is the 3rd of January, 2016. 16, gotta remember that. I am Cruise Control. And I am Maxwell Silverhammer. And we are here with a brand new show, a little bit of new format. We're actually going to actually have some some, um, some, some structure some... structure Ooh. from now on with a bunch of different segments oh, um, and, uh, and stuff like that. So this is the 3rd of January, 2016. Tonight's major theme, the overall theme of the night show is the new year. We decided that we are actually going... To talk do our, our end of year and talk about 2013, talk about expectations for 2013? 2000, 2015, <laughs> excuse me. Well, we could talk about 2013. It was a pretty good year from what I remember. Uh, it was uh, all right. right. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, so we could have talked about that if we want to. But no, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to start um, doing little uh, documentations uh, in the uh, comments on this. So you can scroll down now and you can actually click on the different segments that we do. So if you don't want to see if you want to skip a segment or if you don't like what we're talking about during that segment, you can skip over and know exactly where to go to. It's modern technology. So yeah, we're going to try to start doing a little bit more with this. Uh, not just a random thing. Well, we are. We'll have random things, including the first segment tonight, which is our random rant random segment. Rants. And this segment basically is us just you know, we have thoughts during the day that we're ranting about. Nothing in particular, not really political or anything like that. Um, we'll be getting that to that, so that's, that'll be our first um, first thing today. But before that, we actually have another segment that we want you to participate in. Actually, it's two of them. Yeah, two, two of them. Two of them. But the, the first one uh, that we want you to participate in is called, uh, as you can go, Max, what is it? Uh, fuck you, niggas. Good luck, you niggas. It's fun. Yeah, actually, we, I used to do it on Stim Radio. I think you did a few of them with me, too. Maybe. And yes. that's where if you do music, regardless of what kind of music it is, now you got to have thick skin because there might be some shit we don't like. And but if you do want to send in some music, send it to Stim Radio. That's S T I M Radio at Gmail dot com, and uh, we'll play your shit. Um, we may like it, we may not like it, so be prepared. Um, if you're not, uh, like I said, if you don't have the thick skin and you get pissed off and you want to call us haters and yes, bitches and, and and niggas in this sense is gender and race neutral. We are oh, we, we accept absolutely. all niggas here. Any 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 female niggas, male niggas, white niggas, red niggas, nigga nigga niggas like nigga. Any nigga is down Any with nigga us. is good for fuck you niggas. Good luck you niggas. So basically what it means is fuck you nigga. Fuck you nigga. I ain't going to support that or hey Good luck, Good you, luck niggas. you niggas. Hopefully this works out for you because we like this stuff. So go ahead and send yeah. that to once again, stimradio at gmail.com. Or and, you can hit us up on yes. our Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash cruise and max, um, which is our nothing sacred page. Yes. And then we and uh, that's absolutely. And we do have cruise and max at no, yeah, nothing sacred page on Facebook. That's right. Uh, so yep. cruise and max, we're, 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 we're moving up in the world, Charlie. Oh, yeah. oh. It's going to be a corporate takeover soon. Yes, we will. 2016 is our year. And that's what we might be doing some of those as well. Not tonight, though, but we might, well, we'll definitely start doing more segments where we actually just do improv with our two characters. We've got some characters. We've got our Ned and Jed Wango. We've got Jimby and Charlie. We've got <laughs> Charles We've got and Stefan. We've got a whole bunch. We've got Jimmy and uh, Daddy. Daddy and son? Daddy and, and son. <laughs> Daddy and son. So a whole bunch of different subjects. And we actually start doing more, um, you know, like more of those too during the during the week if, if people like those kind of stupid ass stories that we do. Hell no, we never, we never know what we're going to be doing. This is going to be a good year for this though. We're going to get into this. We've got free reign, man. And it kind of stems from everything that happened last year. So and we'll get that into that more mm -hmm. later on. The other segment, by the way, that we're going to be doing um, coming up is called uh, YouTube, YouTube Test, Test Tube. Tube. And basically, oh, man, that was good right there. Did you, you like see that, what man? we just did, man? Yeah. We, that was yeah. a total, it's like you, YouTube Test Tube. Same inflection, same timing. God hey. damn, we're good, man. We're getting, uh, we're getting our rhythm down, man. What uh, can I say? Well, had, getting our rhythm down? We've been doing this for a long time, brother. So, <laughs> well, of course. We don't have rhythm down now. We're like, you know, we're like a 50-year-old couple, you know. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Oh yeah. So uh, so yes. Oh, we don't so, fuck either. So I guess you're about right. You're about that's true. <laughs> we're about right. We, and sometimes we can't stand each other, but not really. Actually, <laughs> no, that, that doesn't happen, man. We love the loves. Of the course loves we do. Man. We never get mad at each other. We yeah. never argue. Um. Yeah. And shit. so so and so tonight tonight's show is gonna be a good look by oh but the t YouTube test tube and YouTube test tube is if you have like a five minute or so video maybe a little longer a little shorter is fine but a little longer not too long we don't want to go on a too long of rants because sometimes you can 
dissect these things where five minutes turns into 20 minutes, which is fine. We don't care about that. But if you have a five-minute YouTube video that you'd like us to, to just rant and make fun of, we will not watch the video until we actually play it on the show. So we will improvise over it. We'll, we'll mock it if it's something political like the progressives because we have a bunch of different segments. We won't, we're not going to talk about all of them unless we have to. But, right. but, but it, um, if you have something that you want us to, to rip on or just laugh at or, or, just, or if it's something that makes, makes you mad, we want, you want us to tear us apart – now, here's the thing about this. Since we don't know what the video is, if you send us something that you think is going to piss us off or that really makes you mad and we agree with it, well, that's we why it's called it. the YouTube test tube. It's like, a, it's like an experiment. It's like dis dissection. Sometimes right. you dissect things and go, fuck that, man. I don't want to fucking deal with that. Sometimes you're like, yeah, well, that's amazing. Well, it does that. Oh, darn, darn. So we might actually well, and, enjoy. And too, sometimes you get yeah. people that are like, well, I thought maybe you'd like that video. And you're like, no. Yeah, and if you did, exactly. so just off. send us whatever you want to, stimradio at, at gmail.com. Uh, send both. And just, just title the one, um, title the uh, the one, uh, just say, uh, F you niggas, if you want to do that. that or just say F you N, whatever. I mean, fu that's actually fun. Fuck you niggas. Fuck you niggas. Good luck, you niggas. Good glun. Fun. Fun glun. Fun fuck. <laughs> fun glun, man. Fuck fun you glun. niggas. Good luck, you niggas. Fun glun. Fun glun. <laughs> If you yeah. use you as in you, not you as in why, never mind. All yeah. right. So getting that out of the way, we are going to start with our random rants of the week. And oh, uh, you have a random rant of the week. Um, I'm not sure if I have one. I really don't have much uh, well, random rants this week. But, um, but go ahead. You. What's your random rant of the week, man? Well, here it is. And, and I bitched about this before on the other show. But I, I, I call these guys Yugi D's, dude. These are like the fucking the mixtape kids. You know, they never released any albums. They really haven't done too much. They've just put out, you know, little bullshit, you know, uh, mixtapes up on Dat Piff or SoundCloud or something. And they think this entitles them to a radio interview. And this is kind of what made me think about bringing the good luck you niggas, uh, fuck you niggas, good luck you niggas back. Because I'm like, okay, you know, these guys don't know. Okay, yeah, sure. They, they deserve maybe some airplay. But, you know, as far as an interview, you ain't did shit, you know. And what happened was I got an email, dude, to my Stim Radio page the other day. Mm -hmm. And the guy's not even on my friends list. He's just a random dude. And he says to me, how do I get on your show? And I'm just like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> who the fuck are you? You know, and I didn't say that, but I was like, well, who are you? And why should you come on our show? And what have you done? So then he writes back and he's like, well, first of all, I'm a 18 year old rapper, a 18 year old rapper. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of an N 18 year old rapper. Oh, what a give a <laughs> Well, and I will point out too, this kid was white. Oh, uh, what it matters. <laughs> well, no, because it's almost like he's being group thinky too. Because it's like, well, to be hip hop, you got to be stupid. And, and talk maybe, or maybe he active. just doesn't know how to write because he's stupid. But then again, well, or he just doesn't know how to write because most people do. You, most people don't use an a lot anymore. Honestly, well, I still good. do. I, I can't stand it when people don't use an. Well, that's it. I, you know, proper fucking. Because Anne's a mean. whore and she deserves to be used. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, anybody's listening whose name is Anne out there. <laughs> Just yeah. a joke. I mean, it's a joke. No, not yeah. directing it directly at you. No, but, no, 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 not you. <laughs> but anyway, so then uh, he's like, "Well, first of all, I'm an I'm an 18 year old rapper. I've been rapping and singing since I was 15." And I'm thinking, "Oh, great! A whole three years on the mic. That's dopical." And uh, then he says to me. Uh, and as far as, oh, he goes, uh, but I'm not just any rapper. I rap about things that I've been through, you know. Which, <laughs> just not, not any rapper. Most rappers don't, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You are very, you're an exception to the rule there. Yeah, and then he says to me, through, as far as why you should have me on your show, well, I'm going to bring you a lot of YouTube hits and a lot of subscribers. And he's like, plus I have a big announcement for my fans. And I wanted to say, I got a big announcement for you. You don't have any fans. Because <laughs> really, man, I mean, what's this dude done? He hasn't done shit. You know, have it's you like, listened to his shit? Uh, yeah, I actually did. He did send me a link to his SoundCloud. Uh, there were two songs up there that were kind of heartfelt, that were that were pretty good. But then there were two others, dude, that were just that same auto-tune garbage that you hear all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was kind of half and half. But still, I, dude, his attitude was just, he was kind of arrogant towards yeah, me. Yeah, like, I like I'll get you, you like, okay, well, that's, is that what we want? Do we just want, we want people on that we actually like their shit and we're actually into their shit and who actually seem like they'd be a good interview, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why I figured, fuck you niggas, good luck, you niggas. Because this way, all right, your stuff gets played, you know, but uh, I don't feel you're significant enough for an interview. Yeah. You don't, you haven't done anything. 
you know, you, you put up a few uh, songs on SoundCloud. Wow. I mean, that doesn't entitle you to a radio interview. Plus, you've got other other people lined up already. So that's another thing that's happening big in 2006. Tang, okay. we're going to be producers. We're going to be having interviews with people. Oh, Once we get dog. this shit uh-huh. figured out, on, you know, we'll figure it out. But We've been playing with it. I'm playing with it. I just got to get it uh, figured out how to do certain things on Skype. Just Once like, that's done, we'll get that up. So keep that, keep a lookout for that down the line. Yeah, because we're doing yeah. stuff, man. Production line, man. Making so yeah, moves. man. That, that was my. That so was my... so you just don't, you just don't. So you just basically uh, don't want people to. You like people to be like, hey, I, 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 you know, if you like my stuff, have me on. Like you almost would have had him on, right? If he didn't come off as like, yeah, I'll get you subscribers. Yeah, if he wasn't so goddamn cocky. Yeah, and arrogant, I'll get dude. you subscribers so you want me on your show because I'll make I'm you guys famous. I'm an asset to me, you. Me. It's a favor from me to be on your show. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's like, yeah, and see that's it too. It's almost like arrogance is part of hip hop now. Like yeah, so it's always been in a way, but. But it, but it doesn't have to be in that way. It's almost like they have to come off that way so that they like you're like okay, well we can get ah, us hits to our YouTube channel. Yeah, but is the, he gonna get you know hits of people that are gonna this yeah. whole thing, dude? And it's almost like okay, put aside the rapper thug thing when you're talking to the business people, like the radio people and the record label people, and you know that's not impressive to us, man. You know that might be good for a listener of yours, like if you're trying to sell your CD to someone, then all right, go ahead, man, image away. But we're not concerned with the image, man, you know. Well, image. I don't give a shit. I mean, you can have people you on you like to interview. Like, I'll, I'll just be here asking questions about their, I mean, even if I don't like their music. I mean, and, oh, if, and there's stuff that I might like. But, you know, if I do like it, you know, that's the main thing. It's the music. It's not about your, I don't give a shit about what you're going to bring. You know, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Like, well, how many some subscribers. Suck, <laughs> you don't yeah. want a shitty interview. No, you know? of course. <laughs> so, but I'm not going to worry about, you know, I'll, I'll, we can cut shit short if we need to on those things. But I'm talking about just. If you have good music, and that's another thing, Stim Radio, go uh, gmail dot com. If you you know, if you got stuff, just send a link to music. If we like it, we'll might have what? you on as an interview. We'll play it and we'll promote it. But we're right. not we're not gonna do anything more. And I'm not saying it's like, yeah, we'll play and we'll promote it because we're fucking awesome. It's not even about that. It's like it's nope. all about what we like. It's yep. not about if we take the attitude with this, like some of our fucking uh, would be fans would like to say about <laughs> being, oh, we're gonna be successful. Then it's just gonna be stupid. Yeah, you know, we're not going to go for that. It's not about that. We're just kind of letting off steam. If it happens to get successful, fine, you know, whatever. And if and when we're going to put more effort into doing certain segments and things like that to make it more um, easier to to navigate and to find things you like on the show, uh, and it, and we're going to do more of that because it's fun, but not because of some like fucking. We're not trying to get some you know appeal to a certain group yeah. or people or no. Whatever. It's like anything else. It's like the old adage about. Uh, you know, a thing you know, you, you strive hard for start. You know, if it happens, if something happens where we start getting a lot of subscribers and people start digging our shit, and hell, you never know, that would be great. But it's not going to be something I'm going to be worried about too much. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about don't worry about telling us how many subscribers. If you do happen to bring subscribers, great. But don't, don't make it a no point of a, a point of sale because it, we don't care. We don't no, care. We care about, about the that. music that you're. You care about you as an artist about what you're doing, why you're making it, why you why we like the music, why we don't. You know. Not necessarily right. don't like it, but why we, you know, why you, what you bring to the table, why you wrote this, the stuff you did, and whatever, whatever you want to, if you're better at the interview, you've done a lot of the interviews now, so. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's all about sincerity, too, yeah. man. I mean, if you're just a fucking idiot that just wants to come on the radio and just say, you know, uh, outlandish and irreverent shit, you know, it's kind of like, okay, dude, you know, kind of like, remember our buddies from back in the day? Oh the God! E to the N to the K. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> you know, you know, if you just want to do that, that's you know, that's wasting our time. That's stupid. But yeah, that. Uh, you know. My God, that was that was very. <laughs> that was an adventure, is, is what it was. I wonder what the fuck those dudes are up to. You probably look into those the damage. They're probably on jail or something. Or they they got a YouTube channel and they have a lot of footage of them performing. I don't know why. Who the fuck lets them perform? But <laughs> I gotta check that out. Just to, just a car wreck. That shit, man. Oh, it's total car. I mean, and it's probably better even if you can see the video. I just hear all this loud, like rock music, and they're screaming over it or something, you know. So uh, Does it yeah, sound like they're... anybody's there listening to them. Um, I can't tell, dude, because it's so noisy. I can't tell if there's a crowd. I, I would doubt it, dude. It's probably a shithole bar that nobody goes into, or whatever. It's something E N K has got. They're performing in a shithole bar though. So if they're performing, hey, good, more power to them, right? Somebody let them in there somewhere. More yeah, power I'm not sure to them. Who. So yeah, I understand that rant. Um, I can get, I can get that. You get people coming. 
You, what, you, if you don't, you'll be sorry. It's almost like that's what he's trying to say. Like, yeah, if well, you don't you have me out. on, you're going to miss out on all these clicks and all these people who will listen to your show and stuff like that. Um, maybe, maybe not, you know. What, what do you, oh. what, maybe, who knows. And some of them Doesn't are just, matter. they're boneheads, Fuck, man. It's care. like We don't care. They haven't done shit, you know. It's like, okay, well, what am I going to ask you about? What have you done? You haven't done anything. Uh, you know, am I gonna, what's your favorite flavored fucking pie? You know, what, what do you want to know? He just so. wants to promote, you know, but that's the thing. We, we, it's not even about, see, for me, it's not about that. If I like somebody's music and I think their shit's cool, yeah, then I would be like, all right, let's promote him because he's, he's, he needs to be promoted because this is good music. This is good rap music. This is good country, whatever the fuck. We don't give a fuck what it oh, is. Oh, yeah, in, any form of music. Any music. We'll take, man. We're so, down so, for if you, if, so if it's good and we like it and we're down to, to interview you, and, and that's another thing, we're not going to trash it either. Unless you send it to the fuck, you know, fuck you. That's the difference. That's the thing. Oh, if it's fuck you niggas, good luck yeah. you niggas, it may get trashed, yes. Yeah, so just, just say me. interview or something like that in the, in the email heading, uh, and then we'll, because if you do that, we're not going to play your music on, on the air. We won't even but, mention you. We won't even but mention if we you. Interview if we don't like you, you we yeah. will not trash you. Of course, that's, that's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, we're not going to do that. No, if we interview you, we like your shit. Rich yeah, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. We so. like your shit. Or one of us likes your shit. So it doesn't really matter whether both of us do. One of us likes your shit. Uh, so we'll, you know, and so and the other one's not going to be like, this shit fucking sucks. They'll just be polite and deal with an in, in interview, you know, and, you know, because you might be yeah. a great interview. You might have shitty music and make us laugh our asses off during the interview and are just cool, you know, so right. whatever. Exactly. Might have some cool shit to say. I've had some like that before. They were cool people, but I just didn't dig their music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So. But just don't come off as a prick. Don't come off as a prick. Like, you, you get, you're you going to get us ladies, man. Because just to put it this way, <laughs> you get, to, to your 18-year-old perspective, dude, we're 40-year-old dudes, okay? We're just yeah, having fun. That shit doesn't impress us. Dude, we, we're beyond all that bullshit. We've been, we've been down that road. We've tried that shit, man. We've had skull, skull fucking uh, skulls <laughs> on fucking records with that oh, were misspelled. God. <laughs> and fucking, uh, we've been through. Believe me, I'm not. I mean, he's been through more of that than I have. But I've seen that, so I was around that during that peak time. We're trying to be, Ugh. yeah, I'm gonna be the fucking, you know, try to. Yeah, yeah. Well, you we're know, just what? I, I we're just before, having fun. We're just having fun. That's it. So it, it made me rethink my whole War and Peace thing too. I told you that, right? Yeah. You know, where now I, I see it a little differently than I did back then. Yeah, because know? back then you were the world's against me. E, you were just yeah. Being, you yeah, should play you're, though. You were a little yeah. punk, somewhat. You know. Oh, I was. I was a total punk. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, so just feel free to 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 do that too. Send us, you know, if you want to do interviews and stuff like that, fine. But just just don't be a dick. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't be a be dick. Cocky. Don't be a cocky. Don't be a fucking asshole. Just say, hey, I'd like to be interviewed. Uh, here's my music. Uh, I, I, you know, that also shows you probably listen to the show and like the show, which is a big plus. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, so you know, that's great. So send it in, and we'll. And if you like it, we'll we'll interview you too. There Isn't you that go. Wonderful. There you go. Isn't that wonderful? So, man. Yeah. So, you so have that's... another one here. And this is another segment that we have. It's a new one. It's this is a personal segment. Uh-oh, and we're only going to do this to people. We're not going to name like real names. We'll give you your you know, your heart heart to heart name, whatever, you know, your radio name or something. But we're only going to do this for people that really think they can take it. We're not going to just do this at random. It's not a gossip thing. It's almost like a plea, like a get your head out of your ass moment. We call this our segment is called Get Your Shit, shit together. together. Get Your Shit Together. This is about people that we know we're going to shout out, point to you, and say, hey, you need to get your shit together. You know, well, it's not going to be every show. We're not going to do it all that much, but we have a good one that we'll, one now that Max actually has one. So, Max, this is your. Well, we've get done your this shit with together. This, this guy before, and you all know who it is. Um, you know, and, and he's made no secret of it. He's sick. Jerkman is not in the best of health. And I just found out that on like a few days before New Year's, I guess he went back into the hospital with another with, mask. Yeah, on. with whatever, whatever. Yeah, with, you know, you know, yeah. So we don't more shit going yeah. on. So it's like, okay, dude, you know, what are you doing, man? You got a business? You got kids? You can't leave, man. You gotta, you gotta get your shit together, dude. You yeah. gotta get fucking. You know what that means, right? It means one thing that you have to do. Get your shit together. Get your head out of here. Yeah, get your head out of here. But, <laughs> but yeah, but what thing do you think he needs to do? Well, get his health insurance, man. That's true. But there's another thing he needs to do that has a direct result of his fucking kidneys. Or whatever uh, the fuck it is. The, organs uh, and drink, livers. Well, he doesn't drink, really. I know what you're saying. Smoking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was slow. You, you need well, a you know what? dang like, moment. Like, like, drinking? Dang, dang, dang. What did he do? You know what I'm saying? No, no. He needs to stop. He can fix that. You can, you can actually reverse some of that shit that's done. Hmm. He needs to get his head out of his ass by not just getting, getting his insurance or whatever else needs to do you need to fucking stop and look at yourself if you don't care if you do care then then fine 
But if you don't care, then we won't care either, right? Well, you know, it's the thing of we do care because he's our friend, you know. And uh, it's like, you know, I know he said stuff before where, you know, it, he's had some, he's made some comments that sound almost like he's ready to go, should we say? Oh, well, that's, that's just fucking stupid. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's like, dude. That's don't, really you know. fucking stupid. That's get your head out of your ass, get your shit together really stupid. And that's why. And, and you, know. you know what? I should have, you know, being a friend and all, I should have said something to him at the time. But, you know, I just, I didn't, I didn't. So that's kind of my bad. But now I am. Um, I might even send him the show, man, because I want him to hear this shit. Because it's like, dude, you, you got kids, you got a business. There's too much at stake now. You have set yourself up to where you can't just leave things in a lurch, man, in a limbo. You know, you can't, you can't just leave, go. You can't do. We can't do without a fight, man. I mean, trying. This is all. It's ridiculous, man. You think what are you wrapping yourself up in that modeling bullshit about fucking certain people that are just not gonna. It's not gonna change, or you know what? Do you, what? All yeah. of, we as, as friends, and, I, and we have to do it to, your, to ourselves too, because that's how I've had to do that to myself this year. Is my get my shit together last year, uh, and, you know, to take care of something in my life that has been got, gotten out of hand over the last couple years, and. And, and it's something you gotta you gotta look at yourself and just fucking do it, man. And and I'm I'm sorry. I think I think you gotta stop. You gotta stop smoking, dude. Well, and that's yeah. I mean, that's a definite. But mainly, please go get the. You know, I don't give a shit if there's too much paperwork or they want this info. Give it to them. You know what I'm saying? This is your health, dude. This isn't like you know a you know something you can um, just select at random. Like oh well, you know I can. I can opt out. It's not volunt. This is involuntary, dude. This yeah, is your health. It's pretty much like the same thing I did. Like I could have not tried to take health insurance uh, this year. I'm like, dude, I'm 40, man. I can't. I can't be stupid anymore, man. I can't. Nope. nope and nope, unfortunately, nope. it's just the way the world works. At this time, that you have to buy this shit to, to not have to be rammed in the ass by yeah. the by the the healthcare companies. You just have to. You gotta. You gotta just kind of buck up sometimes and face reality. It's like it's like not having a job, you know, or not not not. Well, maybe if you don't have a job, but not or not having, um, you know. Well, this thing is okay. Well, I would say a relationship. You yeah, know, he's put a lot of effort into his uh, dating relationships, but it's like if you would give your health as much uh, fucking uh, effort as you give your dating relationships, you know, you might be getting somewhere, man. I. I I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, we, we we both care. We all care. Anybody who knows you, so just get your shit together. Get your saying, fucking man. shit together. Uh, what's I mean? Now you're it's like you're going to the hospitals. You're getting stabilized and sent home, but nothing's ever getting done. Mm -hmm. And of course, they're gonna bullshit you. You don't have health insurance. And uh, honestly, dude, if you don't have health, I mean, okay, yeah, it sucks. The whole system setup sucks, where your people are being forced to buy health insurance. But like you said. What you going to do? <laughs> you need it. That's like saying, I'm not going to, but you know what? I'm not going to pay for power anymore. Fuck yeah. this. Fuck power. I'm not going to do it. It's just too much paperwork. Costs yeah. too much. I'm not going to have any power. Yeah, I'm just going to live with no electricity. It's, gotta, unfor it's, just a, it's just a necessary evil. And I know it sucks, and hopefully sometime it just all expl implodes and falls apart, and there's a new system that comes up where we all can get health insurance or health, is, health care becomes a lot cheaper than it is now. I mean, because right mm. now, I mean... That's the only reason we need health insurance because it's god awful expensive. It's like, you know, you trade your life for ten thousand dollars. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like, damn, it shouldn't. You shouldn't put a dollar amount on your health, man. You know. But at the same time, being that they have, it's hey, it's what it is, man. What are you gonna do? Fight it, or you know, fucking not see your kids graduate high school, or you know, not see them get married, you know, or not see your business take off, or whatever, or just, man. Just, just. Not care and, and then expect everyone else to give a shit because why? That's where I come from in a way. It's kind of fucked up, but why should anybody give a shit if, if you're? Oh well, I have this and this. Well, what are you doing about it? Well, nothing. All right, but that's so what am I? So I'm supposed to fucking give a fuck about shit that you don't give a fuck about enough to do anything about? Yeah. Well, and, and right? honestly, dude, <laughs> I gotta say that's kind of why I left. That was one of the reasons because I could see that he didn't seem give a shit about the business so it's like well okay so if something fucks up on me then you know well, damn, uh, that's it's kind of like well too bad god damn it it's you a know. real note you know <laughs> <laughs> damn i mean that was my personal thought you know what i'm saying that's what i that's how i felt like okay uh shit isn't 
And I think you know. it's more than that. And we'll go into that more um, under our year end. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, we're rolling up to that. Here so, pretty quick. so, but yeah, but I, but it, we just, it's, it, it, this segment basically is about, and it can be anything. It can be a business. It's about people and businesses or things we like that we just want to get the shit together. You know, right. Things can be fixed. That's what we're trying to say. Or at least but, things can be can be can be pushed to the point, uh, you know, where they're in that direction. Right. I mean, is it... Oh, sorry, man. It's, I'm getting a text about tomorrow's rides, man. <laughs> God damn it! There might be another one too. Oh God! <laughs> so oh. just just ignore it. Oh. Let it go. Last, oh. week, last week you had your blue duke. Oh, oh, I got fucking. He just beat. He just. Reached level twenty nine. Oh, battle on the split That's Leduce. different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. Huh? That's different, man. Those goddamn machines. Oh, do we have one of those tonight? Uh, battle of the split Leduce? No, no. Battle of the split Leduce. No. <laughs> what? Is that a new one? The battle. I don't know. No, the, I, the, the, the ma. Do we have a ma tonight? Oh, ma, a ma, a machines against do humanity. We? Actually, I do. Okay, so we do have a Machines Against against Humanity. humanity. And this segment is Machines Against Humanity, which is basically us ranting against fucking machines. If we have a rant about machines or technology or shit like that, then we are going to rant about it. And that is what this rant is about right now. So, All right, well, here's here's the deal, man. Um, You know, I have two, two programs on my computer. Uh, one's JAWS, which is a screen reading software. That's how I navigate the web and do all the shit on the computer. But there's also a program called Open Book, which scans printed material like mail mm-hmm. and business cards and anything that's print, you know, written print. So I guess when I got new memory installed, um, JAWS had to reauthorize. So I'm like, oh, OK. And it just it pretty much walked me through it. It was just like, you know, click this. Your authorization number should be in the box, which it was. And then it just click OK. And then it authorizes and it's like your authorization is successful. So I'm like, OK, great. Well, today I go use try to go use open book and it said your trial time has expired uh, you, or what is, yeah it said your trial time has expired so OCR and scanning capabilities have been disabled and I'm like, oh fuck so it's just like why does this shit reinitialize each time something happens to the computer so now I gotta call these fuckers tomorrow you know the, the freedom scientific the company that makes this shit mm-hmm. and uh, and it's not as I can't just reauthorize it like I did Jaws. Jaws was easy, but this doesn't even give you that option. And they're gonna have to like remote in and fuck with some settings because I think the guy had to do that before for something. I can't remember what, but it's like God damn man, put this shit out and make it fucking work. You know that's my big gripe, dude. <laughs> right. So so it didn't work mainly because you had the the your computer reconfigure a bit, right? Uh yes, with the memory. Yeah, so yep. Oh my god. So that's yeah, that's how it fucked up like. I can't even tell. It's like can't even adjust itself to different RAM. Like, oh my well, god, there's different RAM in my system. Uh. Well, like I said Jaws is set up fine. You know where I, where, you know, it'll reauthorize and pretty much walk you through the whole reauthorization process. Fine, but Open Book doesn't even do that. Mm. You know, it's just like, well, your demo uh, period, your free trial period's expired, and I'm like, free trial period? Well, I paid for this shit. I got the disc in the drawer. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. so now I have to call them tomorrow. And, you know, so you got to get up extra fucking early so they can remote in and dick around with some of the settings. Yeah, yeah, and, get, you have to get up extra early before. What do you have to do tomorrow again? Do uh, to back to fucking work. Oh, yes. yeah. Guess what I got to do. Tomorrow. I got improv tomorrow at 7 p.m. Oh, so, hey, so, seven, this, so I got to get up at 7, too. 7 in the evening. <laughs> do my, do my balls in your face? Uh, oh, have oh please. Oh, please, Mr. Week Off. Well, I had to work Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, <laughs> the Saturday after Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, the Saturday after Christmas. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, the Saturday after New Year's. Go fuck huh? yourself, okay? Mm, damn. Yeah. Wow, my heart is just bleeding. There right you go, now. yeah. I, so, so yeah, you're open, open. But I understand that, that initiation shit. Then you got to call them. They have to remote in on your computer. It's like they got to, just like they're sifting around in your underwear drawer and shit. Like, yeah, yeah like, God damn it. We're now gonna, I'll let you look in my down. shit. So, you know? Why don't you bend over and open your butt crack? I'm going to stick my fingers in your, in your butt hole. And, Jeez, dig your teeth yeah, into this desktop. You need to enter your PC. Yeah, your... Yeah, your your, your poop prostate, canal, prostate canal, your poop canal. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> no, you've got to, we got to enter your PC. Can I take over your PC for a while? Yeah, hold on. Like grant permission. Let me in. Grant me permission. Oh. Reinitialize me. Reinitialize me. <laughs> yeah, oh, this I really is a I trial just period. Was as easy oh, to, to oh. initialize as Jaws. I guess is what I'm trying yeah. to say. You know, so that's my my main bitchums. 
Well, you know, that's, that's, you know, I don't know what, what it's like a navigator too as well, right? Like, like, what is, again, like JAWS where it's like a word processor or something? Well, no, no, no. Uh, open book is just for scanning. Oh, okay. You, you know, so like if I have some print material, I mean, I could save it. Yeah. And then, you know, reference it later if I wanted to. But usually I just use it for mail and business cards and any kind of print. Yeah, shit, you just scan you know, it, like, put it on your computer and then, or, or listen to it. And then that's pretty cool. So that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So when they stick, uh, you know, or like when they stick menus on my door and I want to know what the fuck they are, you know, I can just. Scan <laughs> yeah, them. you're like, oh, what do they got here? Like local places? Well, you know, I'll just see something to my, you know, I always get paranoid, dude, when something's stuck on my door and I'm like, oh, shit. And then so you then see I'll take it and I'll scan it. Alfredo. And you're like, oh, fuck, because the goddamn <laughs> fucking menu. Well, it's good. Though. Well, I mean, but it's kind of good because I, I really should, uh, you know, maybe they, maybe they'll find a new pizza place. That's or what something. I'm saying, dude. Napoli's man, if they got a Napoli's near your area, dude. Oh, you know what? Kraken was talking about that place, man. We gotta hit that. Sometime. Oh, because he was telling about when we used to order from there. Yeah, he was like, dude, we gotta have Napoli's. It's some. It's like, the it's the um it's the pizza. It's the ranch. Kind of chicken, ra right? chicken ranch pizza. Yes, that's what it was. Yep, that's the one he was. It's telling got me. pieces of fucking chicken finger on the pizza, like breaded chicken finger. Oh shit! With dude. a ranch with the ranch dressing sauce. <laughs> By the way, uh. Sluggo and I went fucking crazy on New Year's, man. We had uh, we had deep fried mushrooms, and we had a uh, ancho a large anchovy pizza, from and where? then we we had uh, chicken wings, hot wings. Was it from a local place? Yeah, it's called Joey's Pizza. I think. Joey's it's Joey's hey, Pizza. How you hey, you do? But can we got? Joey's let's find pizza. ourselves an original name of a pizza parlor. Hey, I got one. How about Joey's? Cause my name hey. is Joey. Hey Joey, hey, that's a great that's a fucking name. One, there. Yeah, Joey. <laughs> that was a good name. Anchovies. How huh? you went to rock the we anchovies? Love anchovies. Oh, not, you know, it, that's one of the few things, man, that most people will not eat, and he like. But it's funny because he's such a finicky eater with everything else, dude. Like he doesn't like sauces. He doesn't like you know. There's a lot of shit he won't Deep eat. Deep fried mushrooms. Shit, Hell got, yeah. yeah! And then they give you ranch, which of course he didn't use, but yeah. I did. So I was like, hey, and his pizza funny. was good. Oh yeah, fuck yeah! Oh god, we gorged ourselves. Was it like a thin, like a was it a good? Jo so you so you would recommend Joey's Pizzeria? To anybody? So I would recommend Joey. How were the, the wings? Pieces, they were about the wings were good too, man. You know they had that, you know, just enough tang to them. You know, it wasn't too hot where you're like, oh god, I can't eat any more of these fucking. You know, they were actually just the right amount of a hot wing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, the size of the, the, the slices of pizza were about the size of the ones we used to get at New York. Remember New York? Oh, yeah, pizza? yeah. So they were the thin New York style pizza, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's a Ginzo spot. You yeah, got New York style. We even get the dough shipped in from the dead. Hey, da, 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 da. I get it right from my cousin, hey, yeah, 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 Andy Colucci. He's over Andy, in Andy Colucci Brooklyn. and in Brooklyn. Yeah, he sends it. The water there. That's the difference is the water that they use in the dough. Actually, I always hear that shit. Dude, I know. That they have to get water shipped in. Yeah, water, water yeah, here. fucking <laughs> fucking New Yorkers, dude. So, but yeah, man. So there's my there's my little rantoms uh, of technology. We kind of went off on a tangent, but that's all right. All right, we're, we're yeah, good at that. We're good at that. But at least you got that out of the way. So, well, you know, get that out, man. Get that. Out. Go talk to open books tomorrow before you have to go to. What do you have to do again tomorrow? Oh yeah, go to work. Oh, oh but right. you know what? Yeah. On Tuesday, I have to flex out. Actually, this is. <laughs> so kind of, um, because I have an event that night, mm -hmm. so I, it means I have to take the uh, four hours in the morning off. Oh, well, you could probably do it on Tuesday then. That's probably when I will do it. Maybe See? I will do it then. See, because so. that's called being smart. You're gonna, I'm gonna get up at 10 a.m. in the morning on um, Monday morning when I got, oh, I got tomorrow off for four hours. <laughs> I can clean the day. Yeah, there you go, brilliant. So, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, here's, you're welcome. here's a good for you. I did you're welcome. Fucking, forget to do a i have to do a, a leave slip if i'm gonna leave oh you know like if i gotta take time off like i have to do so if you need to slip out of the office for a bit <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah if i have to leave and slip out of the office slip yeah. out of the office <laughs> leave and slip no but you know what i was you know patting myself on the back going oh yeah man got everything done i'm all accomplished except for one fucking thing I forgot to do a leave slip for this fucking thing on Tuesday. So you can do that tomorrow, right? Uh, well, yeah, but you're really supposed to do them a week in advance. Oh, uh, but you uh, weren't there. You could just say, "Oh, I'm sorry, the holiday." Uh, I know. Well, that'd be cool. About you it. Can, you I can, know do, you will, can but... use your whole your your patented holiday excuse. I was everything was just so busy. I just didn't have the time to do it. I don't know what happened. Or something. The holidays <laughs> just, and I'm family. Away from me there. I just don't know. It's so it was so stressful. Like there's so much to going on. I just don't have enough time. Time got away yeah. from me. 
What can I, I don't say? know why we use that voice for that, but but anyways, yeah. So yeah, machines against humanity. It's another segment, and now we are going to go to our meat and heart of the se- of the show. Because mm-hmm. I really don't the meat, the heart, the meat. Mm. Meat in the heart. The center. The center. Well, you know, and, and I gotta I gotta recap something real quick because uh, yeah, when and you we'll, asked and we'll me do last that week first. about this, yeah, shit. we'll do that first. So that's that'll be our first thing. So this is our the nothing sacred 2015 year in review. Oh, uh, right. No music on this. We're going to start doing some music. We're getting more shit done. I'm just fucking, I had a great weekend, so it's a little, so I, I didn't bother getting that done. But fuck, we'll do that more like later on. This is just still, no still the did. show about the next, the next year will be different, but not right now. So this is our first category is what did you, what's the biggest thing you learned oh, about well, yourself or biggest thing, the biggest, biggest thing that happened in 2015 to you personally? Well, here's the, here's the thing, man. You know, originally when you asked me last week, you know, I said, oh, man, you know, it was just a basic year. You know, nothing really happened that exciting. It just kind of flew by. Actually, as I thought about it more, it's kind of bullshit because actually it was a big year for me because I actually faced a lot of fears this year mm-hmm. and did a lot of things that I was neglecting to do, you know, for a long time. And, uh, you know, that I was sort of just putting aside and making excuses as to why I shouldn't do them. And like, for instance, getting the the circulation thing checked out in my feet and legs. Mm -hmm. So, which I found was nothing, but Hey, I had to go get it checked out to get the peace of mind, you know, they had to do it because you were like putting it off because you're worried about it. Right. Yeah. I thought, Oh God, what are they going to find? Oh shit, dude. What if I have a heart problem? Mm -hmm. What if I'm diabetic? What if all kinds of shit? So that was just nothing or was it just like bad circulation or what? It's just bad circulation. Basically, the guy said, you know, maybe I have too much sodium in my diet and I, I should probably drink more water. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, which that is obvious, obviously, what, what, you know, which I do have a fuckload of sodium in my diet. Yes. Um, and I do need to drink more water. Um, but that was just one thing. What else? Um, then I had the fucking, um, you know, the, uh, the air conditioner situation, which, you know, I got an old fucking air conditioner in here that was like almost 30 years old. And I was making excuses as to, oh, man, I don't know, man. I'm going to keep it as long as I, as it runs, you know? And, um, sorry, dude. <laughs> Fuckers! <laughs> hey, I brought my phone in here because you wanted to test some shit, okay? God damn it. So okay, don't get called. mad at me. Right. So so you also got your air, because you did, you see, you were clinging. That's like, that's the kind of, like, resistance to change that's terrible. Like, I, well, you're literally like, I don't want to get that fixed. It's, uh, and you're like, wait, but it's, it's like, you're going to live here for the next, oh, it'll, it'll be okay. And it's like, you know, it's not, because you're probably hating it over the summer at some points, right? Oh, God, dude, there were times where I was like, oh, I just want to go somewhere else where there's air conditioning. Wow, is that bad? Which huh? is stupid. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, it's like, plus I'm running the son of a bitch. I'm getting a power bill like, like, and that's the other thing too. My power bills are going to drop because of that shit. Oh, a lot. Um, what else happened? Oh, just a lot of different, um, you know, just financial wise. Um, and you know, some of the things that I did financially for myself, Yeah. you know, um, dropping the show at all talk. Um, you know, which fuck dude, it's crazy. I think that was the main, the the main things though, because you were actually probably thinking about doing that for even before this year, a little bit. Um, it, you know, it was like one of those things, one of those fleeting thoughts that would just jump through your head, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe I'll do that at some, but it was something I didn't want to think about, you know, honestly, it was like, oh, dude, what am I going to do if I got to drop the show, man? Uh, I got to find other things to do and actually make an effort to do other things. Ooh, and now you've noticed that you've enjoyed it, probably, right? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. And you kind of like, you. I'm sure you miss it sometimes, but not really probably because you get the outlet not, on Sunday nights and then you can do it some, you know, whenever you want to. You could probably, we got to get uh, your recording program working on your computer so you can just do your own rants and put them up on. Uh, absolutely. On, absolutely. On uh, the YouTubes, the tubes. The tubes is. Yeah. Well, um, so yeah, man, I, just a lot of things that I, I faced this year that I was scared to face that I should have fucking grown some nuts and, and probably fixed and remedied for myself way earlier but instead i'd rather just sit there and because i'm so this is the bad thing dude about being the resistant to change you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying yeah and i think that's that's kind of where i'm where i'm going to i've really started to get the ball rolling on a couple of things last year and they're and they're going to really start taking effect this year but the ball was actually started rolling last year like i learned a lot about like my for creativity and and i just i've seen like like, like i said before a lot of people have just uh have died this year. I mean, I mean, it, you might not think it's a big deal that you know that Mike and you know the, the train thing back in March. Um, well, you knew him. You know what I'm saying? For you, I can see where that would have been. 
you know, you know, I lived next door to him for three, for two and a half years, and and then just seeing him, I honestly looked at my looked at him, and I thought that could fucking be me in thirty years or twenty five years. Like, yeah. I gotta you know gotta get my gotta because he's just like all lonely and he's just fucking just miserable and just kind of pathetic, you know. And it's like, uh, you know, if you don't think about you know if you just like sit and don't do anything, then the time just passes. So if you're gonna get your shit together, then get it. <laughs> Might together. as well make it and pass and make it fun. And, and not right? only that, but when when people die, especially the more you know last over the last couple of years. Like there are several people like that, Marion girl, maybe Marion woman from my improv class, uh, a couple of friends and some other things like that. It's, I don't think if I lost anybody this year that I knew directly. Um, and so, yeah, it, well, yeah, I don't think you, you know, regardless, there were a few, and it kind of just made me go, all right, dude, it's time. So, yeah, and I'm gonna be forty, dude, this year. So, I just gotta either it's, it's time. Like I've wasted enough time sitting on my ass, you know, not doing things that I should be doing. So that's. Where I've kind of gotten, and I've, and I've really noticed a difference, especially with improv. It's really starting to roll. I've got my improv group tomorrow, so. Oh, and, and traveling too. That's another thing, dude. You know, I've kind of broken that traveling. You know, I don't know if it's a fear, but it was. You know, I had so much fun coming out to to Oregon to see you guys this year. You know, it was like fuck, dude. I want to do that again. Now I'm like interested. Now I want to go to you know to Buffalo to go see air conditioner. I want to go to Mississippi to go see. G Motors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want to get out, and you can't. You can. You have the time to do it. You have the, you have the, the time money off. to do it. Yeah, too. exactly. And that's yeah. <laughs> you, you've gotten your shit, gotten your shit together, and so got my head and out so, of my yeah. ass. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's definitely the things that I learned. So that's the first category was what we learned was you was was your uh, you're just facing your fears and getting over some shit and getting it done. For me, it's it's just getting the ball rolling on certain things because momentum has always been a big deal for me. Yeah. And the momentum's yeah. starting to starting to happen. So that was like the big thing. Now. What was the worst thing about 2015 to you? Mm, the worst thing for me. You know, I, I think I would have to say... Yeah, I'm not talking about... We'll get to individual stuff like movies and stuff and everything, but what's the what's the worst thing that you, that you think happened? Kind of a, a, something that probably shouldn't have happened this year, and it did, huh? Yeah, worst thing that happened to you in 2015. Um, you know, man, I would have to say just kind of the back and forth thing. Uh, with, you know, the girl I've been talking to where she'll yeah. disappear for a while and then she comes back. Because I noticed it's been a lot of that shit this year, man. A lot of back and forth and then I stress over it and I'm just like, God damn it, what, you know, just need to stop this shit, you know. So that was probably the, the biggest, you know, like irksome thing that happened this year for me. Okay, so so the biggest irksome thing that, uh, that happened to me this year, uh, God, it's either between Mike passing away or that fucking psycho bitch, dude. That fucking oh, yeah, that, that's that, right. That just kind of made me go, "Fuck, man." I mean, that was just like that was an experience. Like, oh, and, up and like, another kind of ass rammerish thing was was G Motors leaving. Yeah, you know, and it's just because now it's. I mean, it, it's been good for me in some ways. So I can't say it's been horrible because there's been some positives to it too. There we go again with the you know facing your fears and mm -hmm. and things. Because now I'm like, hmm, now I actually have to be innovative on Saturday nights. I actually have to think of things to do instead of just, ah, G Motors will be here, we'll watch cops and do the same fucking thing we always do. But at the same time, you know, I miss him because he's a friend and we did have fun. And, you know, I mean, it's not the same. Mm hmm So, you know. It is not. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a lot of changes. That's that's your, that's, the, my mind is that shit. I think that was just because it made me realize, God, man, there are people that you just don't. You don't, you don't know want what around you, don't, you, you don't, and you don't know what they're radius. gonna do. They're just fucking batshit crazy, man. And it's okay to be that way. That's the thing about now. It's like it's okay to be fucking crazy. So everyone's like, "Oh, it's okay for me to fucking throw shit because I'm just mad at the pushes and I'm I'm fucking I'm depressive, oppressive, and, and aggressive fucking oh, banal disorder." Mad at the pushes. <laughs> yeah, mad at the pushes, and I'm I'm fucking you know cybercutical. Um, clinically bandained, or I don't know, you know, anything, whatever. <laughs> right. Oh, so now I can have an excuse to throw shit at your fucking door and then like throw all, take all your shit out of your fridge. I mean, that's crazy, dude. And then I don't your... even know you, and you're just like, I just fucking, just fucking. Then she comes back after that, and then wants you to let her in. Yeah, like, yeah. After she just yeah, fucking destroyed fuck your that. kitchen. Yeah, that's crazy. And you don't know what you're gonna, have. you don't know what she's gonna do. It's not like I was afraid necessarily physically of her overpowering me. Right. I was afraid of her, like pulling out a knife and stabbing me, or fucking taking a fucking Hit you over the head or something. Yeah, like yeah. fucking with something. I'm like. Wow. craziness man not bad man so that was my that was my big thing for for the year um mm. in terms of that now what is the worst uh what is the what's here's the here's the, what is the best thing to happen to you this year the best thing yeah um <laughs> oh i hate to say this well like i said a lot of this facing the fear has been always been good stuff you know it's all been good the the 
um, you know, effects have all been positive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, honestly, dude, dro- dropping my show was a major. That freed up a lot of stuff for me, dude. Yeah, it did. It freed up more a lot so of, than yeah, I thought. Financially yeah. and just mentally and just you know, yeah. I, yep, just all all around financially, time wise, you know, people wise. So yeah, dude. It uh, it was just something that had to happen. It was time. It was growing stale. It was the same old thing, and that's what I don't want to happen with this. Is that's why I want to in, you know try to do some new shit, new new topics and stuff like that, and. And not just make it a show where we get on and, and talk like we're on a fucking phone call, you know? Yeah, like, hey, how are you today? I'm great. Yeah. Oh, but I do have to say, one interview, or actually several interviews that were noteworthy for Stim Radio this past year, uh, one was the Lynch Mob, and the other was Lil Easy E. Those were pretty big for me, man. Wow, yeah. So that, that was pretty jerkums. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's because yeah. that definitely, I could see that, definitely seeing that, man, just just because of all the, uh yeah. All the uh, all the lynch mob, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, God yeah, or Lil Easy E. I mean, that's like who the fuck you know? That's Easy E's son. Yeah, yeah. So, that's pretty badass, you know. man. That's pretty. So hopefully we can we can get more of that going this year. We'll do yes, our sir. best to do that. But yeah, so the best thing is best thing was was the show, man. That's and I what think was it was the best thing because you? it was the best thing for both you and both and for Jerkman and for everybody involved. You know, I, I, yeah, exactly. And for, for me because myself. now I've got we're doing the show too. So that's kind of best thing that happened for me in this this year. Um, best thing that happened for me is was being able, and this is a kind of a work related thing, which is which is really cool. And I didn't realize one of those things where after I look back, I'm like, oh, God, I wish I could do that again. Hopefully this year I will be. But being right. taken off the phones, I was off yeah. the phones first for from July until November. Oh damn! And, and I, so I was I was work. literally doing doing uh, doing non phone calls for. So I had the music on. I'd watch TV while I was working. I yeah. would just chill. It was it was really cool, like just being able to work and and at my own pace, do my do my work and and do the quality assurance stuff. And it was actually really cool. That four months was actually really cool in terms of work. Not to deal with calls. What what exactly so, did you do? Were you I just was looking qual- quality through assurance? Blogs, yeah, working, I was looking through people's uh, cases, like making sure they had the notes were correct, and I was uh, I was catching their cases up and making sure that they're that they were following up with customers and that kind of stuff, and helping out my my team manager and. It was just really cool, you know. Huh. Well, um, that's cool, man. And I think that was, and I think also just uh, just getting more more creative, man. I've been writing a lot more, and that one of the things that happened this year was with my buddy Christian came out, and he had the, the intro to our show, the intro song is the oh, song he sent me, yes. and that's yes, almost intro. done. And we're actually going to talk sometime this week or next week, and um, oh, you're going to be laying some shit, huh? We're doing some more stuff, so it should be coming coming to the to a head shortly. And when I come out there, which should be a couple weeks, um, might be February at the most, latest. Oh, you might be coming out here? I'm coming out there, definitely. I'm taking oh, a week. Oh, I'll be out no. there for a week, at least. Um, okay. I'm going to try to get out there during a, during a LVIP show, because um, I've got the time, and I haven't been out to Vegas for a while. I need to get the hell out of here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was really probably the coolest thing, because for a while, I was just chilling, you know, and I'd just be working and, you know, not taking... Had, I want, at one point, I didn't take a call for like three or four weeks in a row. Damn. So, <laughs> so yeah, now, so now this that's why this week, the last two weeks, fuck, man. Uh how but, can they put you back on the phones? They because, just need more customer service. They just service needed, people, it was or? so busy. The holidays oh. are massively busy. So, and, they, and my my TMs are like didn't want me to do it because they they enjoy it. They had helped me out. I mean, I was helping them out, keep their numbers good and stuff. So, but that was really that really the coolest thing. And also just 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 change. I just my attitude's a little different, man. Like, I don't know, something shifted over this year where I'm not I'm not doing the the same bad habits that I was before. So. Right, right. I dig it, man. So I dig it. That, no, just not, not so excessive. You're not, not saying so you're excessive. not gonna. Oh fuck yeah. no! Because man, if I, that, that were the case, and I would have remembered uh, the vacation. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, that wasn't that bad. But um, right. you're like, oh yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, we were pretty bad, dude. I, I say all of us collectively were pretty bad. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. A lot of wine was drinking. But we, we did have fun. I oh, got to say that, yeah, man. Yeah, was you fun. know, it was one of those things I really, honestly, for once, was like kind of sad to go home, dude. I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. it was you a know? good. And that's looking back at December to the end of the year. Like, the, the I usually hate December. But, you know, looking back, it was a pretty decent December. Did a lot of cool things. Went out and saw it. My friend came. Um, hung out with him over the weekend a couple weekends ago from Medford. Shags. Shout out to Shags and Dizzy out oh, okay. there. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Um, so so that was that was uh, my best thing of the year was though was was definitely the uh, definitely that that experience. Because now now they can they can pull me off now. And, hey, we need someone off the phone for a couple weeks. All right, Jeff, do it. Uh, yep, boom, mm, there. You know. So cool. now I've got my ear. People know. 
people know me in that way now, so I'll be one of the choices if that happens again, hopefully. Um, right. So maybe in a couple weeks, cross his fingers, I'll be chilling again, listening to fucking music or watching TV while I'm fucking working. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Well, um, sure. So now here's another. Here's, here's what do you think the worst or the biggest, the most annoying trend was this year for 2015? Ooh, I have to say Bay. Bay? <laughs> Bay. I'll say, yeah. see, that's a different question. So let's let's do this question first. That's not really a trend. That's a, that's like the worst word of 2015. So the okay. worst word well, for I, you of 2015 is bay, right? I would say so, yeah. Because then, yeah. and even finding out what it means, because I thought it meant like bay, bay, like hey, bay. It's not yeah. bay, but it's not. It's best something. Uh, oh, it's the whole acronym. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's best, besties, always, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever. It's disgusting. It's something Barf. bay. Yo, bay. Well, mine is, my, my worst word or most annoying word of 2015 is problematic. Oh, Jimmy. oh, that's pro. That sounds so goddamn Orwellian, man. Problematic. Well, it causes is, problems for us. Mm, this is a problem. That, no, it's like, well, well, you saying um, the N word as a white person, that's really problematic. It's like, uh oh, well, you're going to have to change your Your behavior is problematic. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, please. You know, as far as I got to say, though, man, as far as trends, I'm not really too up on what was popping. You know what I mean? Honestly. That's kinda, that's true. You're kind of stuck because I'm I'm kind of my my thing is um, what is the like the whip and nene was one of them that was terrible. Watch me whip, watch me nene. You don't need that shit, do you? I, I have no clue what the fuck that is. Dare, you're talking you guys. <laughs> I have no clue. Whips and nene. That's it's the first song. Ever. It's a song. Sounds like a fucking dessert. It's a so, it's a, it's one of those dance songs. It's watch me whip, watch um, me nene, watch yeah. me whip. Watch me, nay, nay, and it's just, that just this sounds is, bad, it's, dude. Of course it is. It's fucking. It's a modern song, you know. Oh, okay. So, so it's like, it's, <laughs> so that's that's a ter- that's one of the bad trends. Um, so the Facebook trend. What's the fucking? You know, what's the, the newest Facebook trend? Would be uh, you know, selfies, obviously. Or the selfie stick is the huge thing. Selfie now. stick is a big. Yeah, I didn't, do know that. Ridiculous. You know, what about like, the? Um, I guess the Facebook relationship. You know, where people are meeting. People from across the country and saying they're in relationships now and all this other dumb shit. Well, that's that's kind of a trend, I guess. I'm just talking about more like a popular trend, but you don't know any of that shit because you, wow. I, I don't just, know any of that. I, I just don't. I don't follow that bullshit. I don't, I don't need I don't to. Either. I'm 40 years old. What the fuck do I need to know about trends anymore for? That's true. Or maybe the, <laughs> you know? the worst thing for the Caitlyn Jenner bullshit about how she's the bravest person in the world. Fucking fuck her. Him. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Bruce Jenner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh-huh. she was so brave because so many people were against her. Who? Oh. Who? 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 Really, how many people really against her? She won I don't fucking really awards. Give a shit. Dude, she won an award. She won the, the the woman of the year or the sports like some like overcoming debt diversity award at ESPN over a high school girl, junior high high school girl who had cancer and terminal or was ill and and raised over a million dollars to help her cancer. She won over that just because she fucking put some boobies on and called herself a female. Well, you know, and see, this is the, and if you don't follow the, I was kind of talking to my mom, my mom about this tonight, too, because we're talking about Quentin Tarantino, mm-hmm. and I guess, dude, he made a comment about the Ferguson riots or some of the police violence. Yeah, he and, said cops deserve to be shot or something like that, yeah. Oh, he said cops deserve to be shot? Something, I thought he said yeah. something else, like, you know, black kids don't have enough to do or no, something. No, he said something about the cops, just, you know, sometimes the cops deserve to be shot or they can't trust the police or something like that. Right huh. after, like a like two days after a shot, a cop was shot in the head. He said this in the, in New York. Oh well, but of Yo. course that's his opinion. But yeah. because he gave his opinion and it wasn't the popular one, you know everybody got pissed off and. Well, they're worried oh, about his mo- boycotting his movies, and I'm like, it's fucking oh, fuck his, watch his movies. They're. Fucking... I actually want to see that movie, dude. No, it's look, it, it looks okay. Uh, I don't. I'm not huge on it, but I would not not see it because of his politics. Right. I mean, if I, I didn't just... watch people because of their politics, I wouldn't have seen any fucking movies this year. <laughs> oh, and that's yeah, okay. speaking of that. That's the next thing. What is the best the movie? movie you saw this year? Well, I'm going to say I have an obvious, straight, yep. straight out of Compton. Yep. <laughs> so that was your best movie of 2015. Not that, that I saw a shitload of movies, but uh, you know, I the ones that I have seen this year, I've seen a few. And um, so that's the best. That's the best movie you, you've seen. What is the worst movie you've seen this year? Oh, the worst. And it's got to be one that's uh, that was in theaters, right? Um, it could be, but not necessarily. I mean, if you saw it this year, this is your this is our list. I mean, so if you haven't seen it, but what's but if you had seen it in the theater, what's the what's the worst you can think of that hmm. came out this year? I, the visit was actually kind of disappointing. Oh, really? Yeah, that was uh, 
It was okay, but it kind of was, ah, I don't know. I mean, wasn't wasn't the best. Um, but as far as just movies, there was something that Henry brought over one time, dude, that we, and I can't even remember what the <laughs> fuck it was. It was a Wesley Snipes flick. Oh, actually. Jesus. Was it like a new one where he's like trying to pay off his debts out of prison? <laughs> no, it was an older one. Uh, I think it was, um, I want to say Pelican Brief. That's not right. Um, it might be. One of those, yeah. Did he do Pelican Brief? I don't know. Yeah. He might have done one of those movies. It was something with Wesley Snipes in it, and and, um, I remember I was like, okay, this shit's, he's like a cop or something, and it didn't really seem to go anywhere. I was like, okay, take this shit off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So that was another one that I saw that was kind of butthole. So, but the most disappointing you saw in the theater was The Visit, and then the straight out of Compton was your biggest, okay? My biggest. Best movie of the year for me. Oh, jeez. Um... You haven't seen many movies either, have you? I've seen a, a few, actually. I, Scott and I go to see movies sometimes. Um, I would say the best... Fuck. Um, God, what did, I, what did I see that I liked? Probably The Avengers was pretty good. Well, it was okay. Um, Star Wars was pretty good. Um... Wouldn't you say it's your best, though, huh? That's the thing. Everything was so mediocre. See, I'm not a big... See, movie, that's the thing. With movies, with me and the theaters... Uh, and I don't see many movies. It's got to be pretty ejaculatory for me to want to watch it, you know? Yeah, so yours is obvious. I didn't see Straight Outta Compton, so... Um, what else did I see over the summer? Avengers... Uh, yeah, that's... that's uh, probably... probably <laughs> event. I mean, I saw a couple of... I saw Ant-Man, which is okay. Um, I didn't see all that many movies. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got to renege here for a second. Okay. God, see, when you're thinking of the year, I'm only thinking of the last couple months and all that shit. And I do remember, I went and saw, um, what's the one with the kids? They're all on Skype. And oh, everybody keeps... oh, oh, the, uh, the Unfriended. Unfriended. Yeah, that shit. No, I, okay, I'm going to renege on that one, dude. Unfriended was my least favorite of the year. Oh, that yeah? shit was, was whack. It was awful. <laughs> so visual, right? Yeah, very visual, and you had to be reading... You know what was being written on the on the oh, screen. Oh God, yeah, I yeah. Bet, so I bet uh, yeah, let me read Nig Man with the visit. The visit was okay, but the unfriended was wicked and whack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I forgot. I went and saw that at the beginning of, of last year. See, I don't so. have a worst or a best. Everything that I saw, like not uh, the uh, the night before Star Wars, the Avengers. Star Wars was okay, and I liked it, but then I, I liked it less and less after I saw it and thought about it. The Avengers oh, yeah. was good, but it was a superhero movie. Ant Man was okay, but it was a superhero movie. Um, I didn't really see all that much other shit uh, in the theaters or even even on video. I don't really watch many movies, so I would say that every, I would say nothing. I'd say everything was just kind of there. For right, movies. nothing really just jumped out and made you go, "Oh, dude." Um, yeah, my my "Oh, dude" had to be straight out of Compton. I knew the story. Yeah, but it's just that. I, I like the reenaction. I thought it was fairly yeah. accurate from what I knew. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I like the yeah, way they the took whole it. Thing, and you, were, you remember that time of the, time of life with all the things going on then, like all the all the news and stuff. That's when you, you know, because that's you know you remember that time in your life back then. Right. You know, what I was you, doing at yeah, that time. And you know, you know? that you remember all the news stories about them and you know fuck the police and everything else and, and uh, Cube going solo and how that went down and yeah you know, yeah so how they yeah. How they all hated each other for a while and yep yeah yep. So, so that's the movie. So um, now here is the, what's your favorite song that, that you heard this year that came out? Uh, on the radio, now, you can, you can also do other things, obviously, if you have your own personal favorite from stuff you've made. But, like, hit song if you have one. But also you can do your own honorable mention for what song you dug that you heard favorite. this year or, or whatever. Favorite song, huh? You don't really oh. listen to it too much, but, you know. Well, I'm thinking of, too, is stuff that, that, you know, that I did buy, like I got... You know, the new K Reno. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. I, I guess the song that stuck out for me was, <laughs> was Sensitive Male. That one's really good. I dig that one a lot. Okay. Uh, so that, K that Reno's latest. K Reno's. But there's nothing on the radio or anything that you've heard that you're um, like, this song's really cool, or you liked it a lot. Let me think here, man. Oh, no. Treasure came out about a couple of, a year or so ago, huh? Yeah, I think. I don't know. From who's that? Who sang that? That's uh, Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think um,. So. Shit, dude. Um, as far as stuff on the radio, um, yeah, dude, there was really nothing that just jumped out at me from the radio. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Uh-huh. The sensitive man. What about the worst song you've heard this year? The worst song. Um, well, let's see. There's some pretty garbagey fucking... <laughs> just turn that... Um, 
trying to think, dude. I, I know it's probably some of the some of the hip hop shit from somewhere. Um, from somewhere, you're like, I so, don't know. But you know what's bad is I I don't know any of the like. If I heard it, I wouldn't know who that is. You are you know not very good at this and this show stuff here. You know, hey, we're we're just not very trendy. That's all. Well, I, I know not, more than I, you. I know better than I'm better than you. In that way, you're up on your trends. Ooh, you're you're cool and stuff. <laughs> Let's see. So. I, just, I just don't give a fuck about it, dude. It's one of those things. That I'm just like, eh, you know, so what? It's a trend. Yeah. Um. I don't know. There's a. I guess there was a lot of bad shit. I don't even know if there was anything that was really popping this year. Yeah, most of the shit shit was just in, like I said, mediocre. But my favorite song this year that came out, probably churches. That's spelled C H V R C H E S. Uh, hmm. It's called. Um, it's called Without a Trace or something some yeah, Without a Trace or something similar like that. It's uh, it's a pretty decent song. Um, I like it a lot. Um, there's a couple of, there was actually some decent songs on the radio um, that I liked. Oh, another uh, best one was that um well there was the song I showed you, um yeah. the Luke Bryant song, Games. Mm-hmm. That was good. Um, but see I don't even know if those were were this year. I just happened to hear them this year. Yeah. Um, and then the other was uh Wild in Your Style by uh Dustin Lynch. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah, those are stand out for me, but I don't know if that's... Yeah, my yeah. worst, least favorite song is probably, uh, it's more annoying than anything else, the Marijuana song, that we, our new Americana, we are the new Americana. That's funny, I haven't even heard uh, that one. <laughs> high, on, we, high on legal where Marijuana, it's just kind of like a boring song. I'm going to have fight, to... Fight, fight song, you know, this is my fight song. Oh, my okay, oh, oh God, God, yes. Oh, why did I think of that one? Yes. This is my fight song. Such a terrible. My right or wrong song. Yeah, such yeah, a okay. fucking just basic fucking annoying song, right? Yeah, okay. That's probably, yeah, that would have to be up there for Just me. like, oh, God. Just like, okay, this is such a just ba- And also the Cool for the Summer, Demi, Demi Lovato, whatever. That yeah. was a boring ass song. A Bad Blood by Tra- Taylor Swift. The funny because the Ryan Adams version of it was actually really good, but her, her verse like, "Cause you got bad blood." Da, da, da. Actually, the Taylor Swift song I did like style, this year. yeah, style, yeah, that's yeah. my shit. I like that one. So that's a that's a decent song, yeah. Um, but yeah, that one that was that song was terrible. Also, the Whip It song was Whip It and Nene song was fucking terrible. God, I'll put um, that. Fucking anything by Drake. Everybody loves this fucking Drake. Is gosh, you know all these fucking morons. <laughs> There's a bunch of people that just suck, dude. It's terrible. Um, uh, so yeah, definitely though. Fight song is one of those just just fucking annoying songs. Like it's so basic. It's so like you know, and it's, it was a huge hit. You know, it was all over the place. It's of like, course, but it's like, man, dude, it's kind of you know, it lost its emotional value probably the first time it was played. Yeah, you know? and another another song that like grew to that I grew to not like, mm. as I think I mentioned this before, is the the Adele song. Hello. Oh, the new one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's kind of okay. come became grating and kind of boring, you know, and kind of just a negative, like depressing, like ooh song. Yeah, yeah. Adele's a little depressing and annoying, anyway. Yeah, it's kind of, <laughs> isn't she? Yeah, I'm not Somebody really too. Somebody like you. We could have had it all. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So uh, could have had it all. Why? For you? You? Yeah. They didn't stay with you, and that that you are you it all? <laughs> or what's that other song? Rumor has it. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Rumor has it. Oh, yeah. my asshole agrees. I mean, that well, almost spelt that through the mic, dude. <laughs> Did you hear it? I just had a no. I had I had a psychological impression of it, though. Oh man, it was yeah. It was kind of wet, you know. Kind of yeah. nice. Half, yeah, that's yes. Yeah, so that's that's probably a good send off for the year. Yeah. And, okay. So, any any expectations for two thousand? Or I don't know if you read anything in two thousand. What was your favorite book? And any new um, books? Um. Well, you know what? Let's see. I'm trying to think. Actually, a book I should have read. Is the ten things you shouldn't say in America, or you, you can't say in America? Mm-hmm. That's uh, actually John told me to read that, dude, and I didn't get a chance to Who's read. Who's the it. author of that again? Oh, I don't. It's um, I don't know who the, what his name is, dude. But I know John was. He, he asked me about it yesterday. He was like, "You ever read that book?" I'm like, "Oh fuck, no, I didn't." Yeah, you gotta get back into reading, man. That's the new 2016 thing. Yeah, there, there's another thing I gotta do too. Yeah, there's some some books I want to read. I gotta get you back, get you to some different genres, man. We gotta stretch you out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, hey, you know what, dude? I tried to read Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, oh, Jesus Christ. That's and, not and I what could, I meant. I, did, I no. just couldn't. Of I course couldn't. not. It was terrible, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it's just more of the same bullshit. It's more of the same bullshit. It's horrible, horrible writing. It's a, it's basically a Twilight fan fiction that was turned into a novel and it sold millions and millions. It's horrible. And they're supposed it's to terrible. be Americans, and they write like English people. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's terrible. So terrible. It, it really doesn't represent shit well. You oh, know it's, just, it's just it's just bullshit. Oh, so there's my bad book of the year, yeah, man. Yeah, bad that's, book that's, of the year. Okay. Yeah, because I did read that this year. So, yeah, yeah. There's my bad book. I don't I mean, know what my bad book is this year. Um, there's a couple I stopped reading in the middle that were just annoying as fuck, but some <laughs> fantasy and shit. But there was a couple of those. I read some. This was a year of bad uh, free Kindle books that I tried to read. It's like, oh, this is fucking terrible. What <laughs> were you telling me about those? Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, God. This is like, so there's a couple of those. The uh, best book I read this year. Our best series, I would have to say. Uh, oh, God, there's a couple of them that are really good. It's probably Super Powered, which is this really cool series about these kids who go to a... They're these kids with superpowers, and they, they go to college for... That's, that's a secret super school that they learn how to control their magic and powers and oh. shit. Okay. Uh, and it's about their lives and stuff like that, but there's all this interwoven drama. Um it's actually it's crazy. There's a there's a there's a lot of new stuff now, and the new trend is serialized books that they publish the chapters each week on their internet page as like a blog entry. Oh, so you got to check back to to get the new chapter. Yeah, so you read a chapter every week, but then what happens is after that all the chapters off the of the book are released, he puts them all together and gives them as a as an as an Amazon um, ebook. Oh, okay. And so it's called Super and the Super Powered Year Three was the one I read this year, and that was really good. Um, there was a couple other books that are really good. Oh, um, a new Peter Hamilton book was fantastic. Um, he's, in, he's a science fiction author. Um, it's a new book the, in the Void series. Um, so that was that was really good. Um, how, about, um, how about just most disappointing thing, event for the year? Was there anything that really just was disappointing for you um, this year? Because like I, I just thought of something for me. Okay, well, you go first then. Well, mine was kind of my 40th birthday, man. Oh, really? nobody was really... I mean, I went and hung out with Sluggo. That was cool, but, you know, aside from that, there really wasn't much else popping. That's true, man. It sounded like you expect something more for your 40th, huh? Oh, yeah, because, yeah, here it is. I'm turning 40. You know, oh, man, we're going to do something cool, or or someone's got something cool planned for me. And it was just kind of your basic day, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have planned something for you, man. Oh, well, you know, we live and learn. Dude, I was probably working that day or some shit. It was a Monday. Yeah. Yeah, so you probably were. I was, um, wasn't working. But yeah, that was, was my fine. Sunday, I don't know. So. Did you have any that were like you disappointing know? Uh, thing this year, uh, and just personally, or just oh, just anything? It could be anything, really. Just something that was just just something you just thought might the, be better than it was. Something I thought might be better than it was. Well, there was a, a certain vacation we had. Or someone oh, yeah? came out in December. It was really fucking annoying. Uh, no. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, Damn. I'd say the most well, I wasn't dis- there for that. disappointing thing this year was. Fuck. Um, you know you'll think of these later, too, Yeah, right? I know. I'll think of some of them. But in terms of just disappointing that I thought would be awesome and wasn't, um, probably 2015. <laughs> <laughs> just the year itself? I mean, it wasn't a bad year. It, wasn't a, it was just kind of like, it was, it was definitely kind of not, a, not as bad as 2014. No way. 2014 was, but that's like saying, you know, like a, a piece of poop didn't taste as bad as a fucking leaf, you know? <laughs> or a piece of, or at least I'm eating a leaf, but at least it's not a piece of shit. Like you know, you're not enjoying the leaf, but, but yet it's but still, compared to the piece know. of shit the previous year was. Let me rephrase that. It's not a leaf. This year was like a piece of bread. Oh, okay. All right, so, so it's like, kind of bland. Yeah, it's like a piece yeah. of bread. You know, yeah, it's food. You know, it's, it did what it's supposed to do. It's not the shit that I had to shovel in my face last year, but <laughs> you know, it's definitely not like the fucking carrot cake that I had last night. Because God, I had some fucking kick-ass carrot cake last night. God, yeah. Oh, yeah, so good. Good, 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 good. Uh, but that's what I want 2016 to be. I want 2016 see, to be the new carrot cake. See, for me, I'm I'm, I'm always afraid to make any because, dude, in the past when I've made yeah. expectations or I put out, you know, some, oh yeah, man, this is gonna be the year. You know, it kind of disappoints me. So I, I'm just gonna let it be yeah, what I'm it just, is. I am too, but my mindset's much better at, to start off this year and. um and like I said, I've got a lot of other, a lot more stuff I'm doing. Like more nights of the week, I'm filling up with shit. Like Sunday night now is is the show. No. Yep. And then Monday night for two one two weeks of the of the of the um the month is improv. And then others we might do other things on different nights. You know, sometimes like the game night. Sometimes depending if I get fucking that the huh. lag issues fixed up. 
Oh yeah, um, oh, yeah. You know, the other things we might do some more skits because that's another thing we're gonna start doing more is our characters. Like we said, you know, we got the. Uh, Oh shit! We got a bunch of characters. A whole bunch of shit we can do. We can make them new ones as we go along. So and we usually do. <laughs> yeah, like so, absolutely. So we got a lot of stuff coming up in 2016. So it's it's the beginning of the year. The one good thing that I uh, before I think we're pretty much ready to wrap this up. But pretty much before yeah. uh, we do that, um, I'd have to I'd have to just talk about a little bit like this last week. Just to, that's a funny thing. Cause my, did you see my post on Which Facebook one? where I'm like? Yeah, last week I was smug about how I survived Christmas and oh, and then now it's New Year's. Oh my God! No, it's now after it, Christmas. and now it's fucking just as it was just as bad. It was literally as the same as as Christmas the last five days at work. It was pretty rough. Oh shit! So yeah, it was <laughs> it was uh, it was uh, it was it was like oh yeah, I got through Christmas and like oh shit. Then this week was just as bad. So hopefully next week is mellow. But I got through that, so I'm happy about that. Rest, I got improv tomorrow night, so 15, 16 people signed up for that at least. Yay! Yeah, so right. it's going to be awesome. So the, before we go, though, I do want to recommend once again, I'm going to post links to this, to the people that we recommend this week. Do you have any YouTubers that you recommend, who you like, who you go to, like, subscribe to, that you that you, that you want to recommend? Not really. I mean, for me, I just, if I want to see a video, I just go to their shit, you know. Oh, that's I don't what I'm really... saying. Like, who do you go to? Do you know anybody that you, like, do you, do you, do you subscribe to anybody? Yeah, yeah, there's a few that I subscribe to. Um, like, is there you know, someone that who you like that you that you recommend for our viewers? Well, this is kind of for Jack material, but uh, there's a chick. Her name's Alex Taylor, and she's got all these videos of, well, she's a smoker. You know, I'm turned on yeah. by women who smoke. And in some of the videos, she's like, oh, God, I fucking need a cigarette. And so for me, it's kind of jack em. So, you know, you can check out her channel if you want to. <laughs> okay. You can jack <laughs> so off at the, there, might be jacking a, off at the same time as Maxwell here, dude. There's a peckermendation. So, so go for it. Go for it. If you if you want to have a, a small chance of masturbating over the same shit that Maxwell is, Silverhammer is, you can you check know, out man. Alex Taylor. Hey, you know, what does she talk about, though? Um, well, some she's just smoking in. They're just visual. But then there's other ones where she's just the way she says it or she has like a Q&A session where she's talking about how she actually turns herself on. From, she's turned on by smoking as well. You know, so it's kind of kind of hot. <laughs> okay, if that's your so, thing, then fucking go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and give another shout out to Sargon. He's got the, right. the year in stupid up. Write us back, nigga. The year in <laughs> stuff. Well, he's yeah, but whatever. He probably is. He's on. He's on all the time on different channels. He's like, I don't need to be on your shit. I got my own fucking channel, dickhead. Pretty much, you know. <laughs> so, um, but he's good. He and he's got the year in stupid up like that. So it's, I'll and I'll post. I'll post. I'll look for Alex Taylor, and I'll post the link in, in our um, our recap underneath here, so you'll have a link to go to. You don't um, have to, man, but whatever. It's why not? And, then, and a lot of time, well, I mean, you can if you want to. I it's mean, your you recommendation know, for, this week. If you're, jackals, I I yeah, if you're afraid of it, then you know who cares. You know, hey. I'm not afraid of it. I'm, I'm cool with it. Of course you but, are. Um, are you a, a lot of times, are you too, I When people subscribe to me, I just subscribe back to them. Oh, okay. You know, I do that too. Like they say, someone subscribed to me, so I'll, as a favor, I go back and see, I'm like, okay. See, I don't okay. do that shit. See, I subscribe to people that I actually want to want to watch and stuff, so, so their new videos come out. And so, uh, Sargon so again, you get another sure. one first, and then next week I'll get another one. So I'll get a link out so anybody can watch. He's basically a, talks about the anti-social justice. He's a gamer, so he's mainly more into like talking about the idiocy of social justice wars or being progressive. Which we didn't have, we didn't have one of those this week, but I can almost guarantee you we'll have one next week or very soon. The new there'll be segment. something, I'm sure. We've got a bunch of segments coming up, you know. I mean, we we got a lot of ideas, man. You're gonna blow this shit up, man. Yeah. This shit's gonna be for the real, man. I mean, it's gonna be real. And I'm gonna post on Facebook, especially about the fuck you niggas. Good luck, you niggas. So you know, people want to submit music, they can. You know, they can can they can submit music, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll submit it to us, man. I'll post it. Submit, submit that shit, man. Submit the shit, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Submit Why is this shit from. not working, man? God damn it. Now I'm like buying time. Submit the shit. Oh, damn it. Why is this shit not working? Play, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, man. It's hey, not that fucking hard. Want to check the goddamn volume on the bitch. Oh, fuck you all. There you go. Fuck hey. you, Maxwell. <laughs> Ah, well, it is the 3rd of January, 2016. We wrapped up the first show of 2016. Yeah. More to come every Sunday night. You'll be getting it Monday night, and that's the right that you got to fight to blah, blight the parasite. Sight. You know what I'm saying? In the excellent I'm Cruise Control. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And that's, that's the, the story, story there, bitches. Fuck you, bitches. Nothing sacred. Later.